Do you think the music you listen to affects the way that you perceive life? Yeah, definitely. I think so, yes. 100%. Bro, I mean, totally. Yeah, I do. Yeah, the music that I listen to definitely affects the way that I perceive life because I feel like when I'm listening to songs that are about like good things, like I just feel happier. But like if I'm listening to songs that are really like dark and sad, then like that's how I end up feeling for like the rest of the day. I think that it's like any other type of artwork that's put out there, right? Regardless of what the artist intends, because of the art and the artist is a product of the society in which it's created, there's going to be meaning there, period. I feel like the music I listen to acts to either heighten a situation or detach from a situation depending on how you're feeling at the time, right? When I was younger, I kind of listened to the music that I just was immediately around me, like old school music, and then got into J-pop eventually. So now it's just like a giant mix of just a whole bunch of different genres, except for country. I, mm -hmm. I don't like country. Um, I listen to a really like wide variety of music, like kind of sad music. I can't be one of those people that like is happy and listen to sad music. Cause then it just like brings down my entire mood. I don't like that. Like we have a lot of like pre-planned playlists, right? Through like Spotify and everything, which is great because it makes the music you love super accessible. But you also don't get those like random moments where you're like, oh my God, like the song, I don't know who it's by, but man, it's really hitting hard right now. It's used not just personally, but also like to call folk together. I don't think that in the history of the world, we see many cultures without music, if, if there are any. So I think whatever you're going to music for, whatever that experience is, part of the reason why it's music that you turn to for that is because it's shared. The lyrics like really do help me like cope with whatever I'm going through like it's a source of something that I can relate to. So the music I listen to uh, helps me get through like my tough or rough times around like 2020 was like a lot of sad music. For some reason it just helped me, I enjoyed it. I think I just like got everything out at that time. Sometimes it's nice to listen to stories that match your mood or your what you're going through or like say you're going through a time of hardship like someone's singing about their own hardship. You kind of become kindred spirits in a way. I'm gonna bring up Miley Cyrus because like she she like hit a lot of like our heartstrings whether we were up or whether we were down and the music that she created along with of course a lot of other folks mixed in there uh, is so strong because you can really kind of rock out to it. The music that I listen to today is usually kind of influenced by TikTok. Like if I see a video or something and it makes me happy, or I like the mood that it put me in, then I'll start listening to it more. I I choose to listen to certain types of music based on my mood. If I'm trying to go from like low to high, then I'll listen to more perceived a sadder type of music and then it'll slowly get more energetic mm -hmm. as the playlist goes on. There are songs where it is just kind of word salad. And then there's some people like uh, Leonard Cohen who have very uh, pointed lyrics. So I think like no matter what, you're gonna kind of infer uh, your own meaning onto a song. Well, we see artists grow, right? And we kind of continue to listen to the same artists. And I think as you grow up, you just learn more just as you do anything else. I feel like music that I was listening to a year ago is not like really something I would listen to now because I was in a completely different place when I was listening to that. I'm in a completely different place now. When I was younger, right? Like I thought the songs you listen to and the artists you listen to become like such a part of you and part of kind of like your psychosocial identity. Um, I think when I was younger, I would try to, you know, make it seem like, oh yeah, I only listen to cool artists, but it's like, at the end of the day, there's still some really cool pop music. Like Beyonce is awesome, you yeah. know? <laughs> and I think that kind of relates back to me changing over time too, right? Because you kind of stop taking yourself so seriously and like, it's okay to be basic sometimes, you know? Not saying Beyonce is basic. I don't know any artist who hasn't changed as they've grown. And I mean, I think that Miley Cyrus is a really good example of someone who has done that in such a very outward and 
controversialized way. Every artist has grown like that. And then I think that you also learn more about the artists that you have been listening to, and you might listen to the music now in a different way. When a song, like, is up to your imagination, you take it in the way that like it's relating to your life. Like you apply it to your own life. I was in a super bad mood. If I had like an argument with my parents, I would go straight to music. I'm listening to those little sounds, those little puppets. I'll have like them all saved and I'll just like play them and they'll make me happy. All right, well that's all I have. Thank you. Ta-da.